fellow beings of light, I am Julie Joy of the Young Lightworkers Channel with another message for you today from Thymus, the collective of Ascended Masters, as channeled by Daniel Scranton for November 9th, 2024. And the title of this message is What Helps You Ascend and What Doesn't. And they begin blessings. We are Thymus. We are the collective of Ascended Masters. We are always happy to help connect with those of you who are in human form there on earth. And we are very excited to share with you our energy and whatever insights we can offer you to help you along on your journey of ascension. You can place your attention these days on just about anything. You have access to so many thoughts, so many thought forms, and so many beliefs, and it is very much time for all of you to be discerning in what you put your attention on. Now that is true for several reasons. One of those reasons is that you are seeing energies come back to you faster than ever before in human history, because with such an occurring, that must be the case. The energies have to continue to come more quickly and to reflect back to you in much less of your time than what you have been vibrating Energies move faster for a variety of reasons. You are moving through a time of ascension. You are now in the photon belt and you are opening yourselves up to higher consciousness. And in those higher realms, everything moves so quickly that it's instantaneous from our perspective. This is why people say there is no time in the non-physical or on the other side. You need to be more attentive to where you put your attention because there are many people who only want your attention. They don't really want to give you something that's going to help you, to inform you, or empower you. But they know how to make sure they keep getting your attention. And they are employing these tactics because, as you know, the more attention someone gets there on earth at this time, the greater the possibility for them to gain some sort of fame or fortune. Now you also want to be able to use your discernment because you are about to become fifth dimensional beings who will engage in instant manifestation yourselves. And so you really do want to know how you are vibrating at times. And you know how you are vibrating when you check in with your feelings, with your chakras, with your physical body. They are all reflecting back to you what you are vibrating. Now, if you want to look at it from a longer view, you can look at the people who are in your life now and how they are treating you. And you can look at other life circumstances of yours and they too will reflect to you how you've been vibrating. Changes are happening all the time there on earth. And energies are coming in to support the ascension of humankind all the time as well. What that means is you have an opportunity to keep all of those changes and all of those energies. And so you do so by slowing down. You do so by slowing down your thoughts. You're being present in the moment and by breathing consciously. You can activate so much within yourself in a moment of appreciation and you can allow in so much joy in a moment of joy. You can become so much in a moment when you are experiencing love. So yes, do pay attention to what you are putting your attention on because you also have all of those options, all of those opportunities to be focusing on something that puts you naturally in a state of joy, love, or appreciation. You have many examples that you could focus on as well there on earth because there are so many people on the planet with you and most of them have access to the internet. Most of them can share their success stories with you and you can help each other in a variety of ways. But again, you've got to use that discernment that you have to be able to determine who is out there to help and who is just out to gain followers, subscribers, likes, and so on. Now, of course, you don't have to spend any time on the internet at all in order to be in peace, joy, love, freedom, exaltation, and to experience creativity and wonderment. You have a whole world out there just calling you to it, inviting you, asking you to come and play with all of these energies and with all of the beauty of planet Earth. Experience some of that as often as you can and the peace and the calm that you will experience will make anything that is not peaceful and not serene stand out to you like a sore thumb and you will set it aside. This is how you grow, evolve, and ascend consciously and it really is just that simple. 
That is all for now. We are Thymus. We are the collective of Ascended Masters, and we are always amongst you. Another lovely, inspiring message from Thymus, as channeled by Daniel Scranton. His own website is danielscranton.com. Please stop by there and see everything he has to offer. Also, if you would like to watch Daniel actually channel the Ascended Masters, you could do so on his own YouTube channel, which is again simply his name, Daniel Scranton. I will be able to place the words of this message below in the show more section. I am Julie Joy, your servant to the light, and it's always my deep, deep honor to be the voice of the collective of Ascended Masters, Thymus. And please don't forget to create a great day. Mm -hmm.